Edge versus Internet Explorer. Hi everyone, I'm Leo Notenboom for AskLeo.com. There was a report earlier this week that indicated that Internet Explorer is losing market share, which ultimately isn't really that surprising for any number of different reasons. But it dawned on me that one of the reasons it's losing market share is Microsoft's own efforts to basically make it go away. When you think about it, in Windows 10, Internet Explorer is very hard to find. In fact, many people don't even realize that Internet Explorer is still available in Windows 10. It is part of every install. Microsoft is doing such a hard push for Edge that they're hiding it. They're hiding Internet Explorer. As a result, people try Edge. Edge doesn't meet their expectations. They don't know what else to do, so they download either Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. And it's those two browsers whose market shares have both been increasing as a result of this push. I'm sure that Microsoft's intent was that people would use Edge instead of Internet Explorer if they couldn't find Internet Explorer. But in fact, all they've really done is shot themselves in the foot because people are looking for alternatives and those alternatives they don't know exist already on their machine in the form of Internet Explorer. So they're going out and finding other browsers. In case you're curious, uh, here's a very short video of how easy it is to actually find Internet Explorer and use it, replace Edge if you like, and begin using Internet Explorer on Windows 10. Apparently a lot of people don't realize that Internet Explorer is actually still a part of Windows 10. It's really easy to find. Even though Microsoft does a fairly good job of hiding it, they also give you the tools to find it. We'll just click on the Start menu and start typing. I-N-T-E, oh, look at that. There it is, right there on the search. What I recommend you do if you want to use Internet Explorer is now right-click on this and pin it to the taskbar. And now you can see down below the Internet Explorer icon has appeared. If we want to at the same time, we can just get rid of the Edge icon by right-clicking on it and unpin it from the taskbar. Now, you're running Internet Explorer whenever you want to. It really is that simple. Uh, getting Internet Explorer to be visible again is a very simple process, but Microsoft has done such a good job of hiding it that basically, like I said, people just don't know it exists. So, if you want Internet Explorer, it's there for the taking. Microsoft Edge is presumably going to get updated in the upcoming um, anniversary edition of Windows 10. Uh, one of the big features that honestly prevents me from using it at all is the lack of extensibility and the lack of support for LastPass. I did read this week that LastPass is in fact one of the things that they're adding to it first, the ability for the extensibility model to be used, and LastPass is going to be one of the very first extensions available. Is that enough? To be honest, I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, Edge is an interesting beast. I understand some of the reasons why Microsoft might want to move away from Internet Explorer. They've tried to do it before and failed. Um, this time they're replacing it. Whether Edge will win or not is unclear. I do know that given the year that it's been out, Edge and hiding Internet Explorer has done more for Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox than it has for anything else. So, as always, let me know what you think. Uh, what browser are you using on Windows 10 if you're running Windows 10? Were you able to find Internet Explorer? Did you even know that it was still there? Here's a link to this article or this video on askleo.com. You know the drill by now. If you're watching it anywhere else, please come to askleo.com. This is where the comments are. All the comments are moderated and all the comments are read. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you again next week. In the meantime, stay safe, have fun, and don't forget to back up.
Take care.